nuevos amigos? ¡Hola! ¡Aquí estoy de nuevo! ¿Listos para aprender? ¡Great! Because I'm ready to teach you. I hope you've been sharing the wonderful facts that you've been learning in our lessons with your family and friends. Take out your Spanish journals and keep them by your side to write down the new vocabulary words that you will be learning today. Saquen sus diarios de español y prepárense para escribir. In our last lesson, we learned how the Spanish language spread as Spain colonized the New World. One of the areas where colonies were established is now the beautiful, tropical country of Costa Rica. Costa Rica means rich coast. Coast in Spanish is costa. La costa. Say it with me. La costa. Today, we will learn about Costa Rica and discover some of its rich history and amazing beauty. Costa Rica is located in Central America and is known for its coffee, its tropical rainforests, and its volcanoes. Coffee in Spanish is café. El café. Repeat after me. El café. You will probably recall that rainforest in Spanish is el bosque tropical. We learned about the rainforest in our previous lessons for second grade. Let's review our pronunciation and say el bosque tropical together. El bosque tropical. Very good! A special geographical fact about Costa Rica is that it has volcanoes. One of them is so large, it has nine separate places where it has erupted. ¡Qué interesante! Volcano in Spanish is volcán. El volcán. It's time for an important part of our lesson. What is it? Sí, es correcto. It's time for our verb of the day. Adelante con el verbo del día. El verbo del día es viajar, to travel, viajar. Let's conjugate the verb viajar, to travel. Yo viajo, I travel. Tú viajas, you travel. Él, ella viaja. He, she travels. Usted viaja. You travel formal. Nosotros viajamos. We travel. Ustedes viajan. You all travel. Here are some new words you will need to know as we study the country of Costa Rica. The term confederation in Spanish is confederación. La confederación. Say it with me. La confederación. A confederation, confederación, is an alliance or a union of several states that have given political power to a central authority. The word wheat in Spanish is trigo. El trigo. Repeat after me. El trigo. Excelente! Costa Ricans know a tongue twister with the word trigo. It goes like this. Tres tristes tigres tragaban trigo en un trigal. It means Three sad tigers were eating wheat in a wheat field. Let's say it together in Spanish. Ready? Tres tristes tigres tragaban trigo en un trigal. <sighs> Muy bien! <laughs> you will find that these two words, la confederación and el trigo, will prove important 
as we learn more about the history of Costa Rica. ¿A dónde quieres viajar? Yo quiero viajar a Costa Rica. ¿Qué quieres hacer allá? Yo quiero ver un volcán. How many new words did you recognize in our dialogue? Did you say two? You're correct. The two words were the verb of the day, viajar, to travel, and volcán, volcano. Let's go over the dialogue together. Student number one asked, ¿A dónde quieres viajar? Where do you want to travel? Say it with me. ¿A dónde quieres viajar? Student number two replied, Yo quiero viajar a Costa Rica. This translates to, I want to travel to Costa Rica. Let's say it together. Yo quiero viajar a Costa Rica. Very good. Next, student number one asked, ¿Qué quieres hacer allá? What do you want to do there? Remember the verb hacer? It has two meanings. Earlier, we learned its meaning of to make. You can also use the verb hacer to mean to do. So, student number one asked, ¿Qué quieres hacer allá? What do you want to do there? Repeat after me. ¿Qué quieres hacer allá? Muy bien. Student number two responded, Yo quiero ver un volcán. I want to see a volcano. Repeat the sentence with me. Yo quiero ver un volcán. Good job, nuevos amigos. Now, let's learn a little about the country that has many volcanoes. Muchos volcanes. Costa Rica is one of the Central American countries that has an indigenous population that is low in number. By the time Columbus arrived on September 18, 1502, there were no more than 20,000 indigenous people who lived in different tribes and had different cultures. The Spanish colonists who settled Costa Rica had to work the land themselves. Unlike the other colonies, such as Mexico and Guatemala, Costa Rica's colonists could not use the indigenous people to work the land. As a result, the colony was poor and ignored by Spain for many years. In 1562, the first Spanish governor was sent to Costa Rica from Guatemala. His name was Juan Vasquez de Coronado. At that time, he established the town of Cartago as Costa Rica's capital city. Costa Rica began to thrive economically during the late 1700s with the exportation of wheat, trigo, and tobacco. Central America gained independence from Spain on September 15, 1821. The news reached Costa Rica a month after the event. Then, Costa Ricans had to decide if they should join newly independent Mexico or join a new confederation, Confederación, of Central American states. There was disagreement on which to choose, and a civil war started between the leaders of the city of San Jose and their counterparts in Cartago and Heredia. In the end, in 1823, San Jose's people won and Costa Rica joined the confederation, La Confederación of Central American States. Hola nuevos amigos, ¿cómo están? ¿Listos para aprender un dicho nuevo? I have a new dicho for you today. Make sure you write it down in your diarios de español. Camarón que se duerme, se lo lleva a la corriente. This dicho translated to English means, a shrimp that falls asleep will drown with the current. A similar saying in English would be, you snooze, you lose. It's a well-known fact that if you don't pay attention, you might miss out on something important you need to know. So pay attention. 
Let's say it together one more time. Camarón que se duerme se lo lleva a la corriente. Muy bien. I'll see you next time, nuevos amigos. Are you paying attention, nuevos amigos? Or are you acting like the little shrimp that falls asleep? It's good to be aware and keep your eyes and ears open. In order to succeed, pay attention to what you are doing and what is going on around you. You want to be successful and not lose out on good opportunities. There is a colorful art form that originated in Costa Rica in the early 20th century. It uses bird feathers, wood, wheels, and paint. What is it? To give you some clues, here are two words to help you. First, the word buey, el buey, which means ox. Say it with me, el buey. The second word is carreta, la carreta, cart. Be sure to roll your R. Listen, la carreta. Repeat after me, la carreta. Say it again, la carreta. So what is this art form? Let's find out. The ox cart, La Carreta, is a strong rustic vehicle with two compact wheels moved by two oxen, dos bueyes. It can easily pass through muddy places, swamps, beaches, hills, and rocky mountains. The ox cart, La Carreta, integrated Costa Rica into international commerce by becoming the main means of export transportation after 1840. The first shipment of coffee, El Café, from Costa Rica to London was transported in 1843 by ox cart to Costa Rica's main ports. Painting ox carts, carretas, developed into a form of original Costa Rican art in the early 20th century. Cow herders decided to add life to ox carts by hand painting them using bright colors and geometrical figures. Sometimes, bird feathers are used as paintbrushes. There are never two ox carts, dos carretas, painted the same way. All of them contain changes in color tones and patterns. This art has been passed from generation to generation up to the present time. The painted ox cart, la carreta, has become a Costa Rican symbol throughout the world and has promoted economic development through the production of handicrafts in the Costa Rican cities of Sarchi and Puriscal. Because of its beauty and popularity, the ox cart became the national labor symbol in 1988. Let's go over the second dialogue and practice our pronunciation. Student number one asked, ¿A dónde viaja tu hermano? Where is your brother traveling to? Repeat after me. ¿A dónde viaja tu hermano? Student number two replied, Él viaja a Sarchi. This translates to, He will travel to Sarchi. Say it with me. El viaja a Sarchi. Very good. Next, student number one asked, ¿Qué quiere hacer allá? What does he want to do there? Repeat after me. ¿Qué quiere hacer allá? Perfecto. Then, student number two responded, Él quiere ver las carretas. He wants to see the ox carts. Repeat the sentence with me. Él quiere ver las carretas. Muy bien hecho. Very well done. Mariposa por Federico García Lorca
Mariposa del aire, qué hermosa eres. Mariposa del aire, dorada y verde. Mariposa del aire, y quédate ahí, ahí, ahí. ¿No te quieres parar? ¿Pararte no quieres? Mariposa del aire, dorada y verde. Luz de candil. Mariposa del aire, y quédate ahí, ahí, ahí. ¡Quédate ahí! Mariposa, ¿estás ahí? In this poem, the author Federico García Lorca, who was a famous Spanish writer, talks to a butterfly. He tells her to stay put in one place using the word allí, which means there. So he says, stay there, but the nature of the butterfly is to fly. At the end, Lorca asks the butterfly, are you there? Hinting that the little creature is gone. The poem is so beautiful, spontaneous, and short, just as the flight of a butterfly. People are experiencing a new way to travel. They've discovered they can enjoy the environment through ecotourism. Here are some words you'll need to know as we learn about this educational way to travel. El ecoturismo. Ecotourism. El ecoturismo. Repeat after me, nuevos amigos. El ecoturismo. Good job. La lluvia. Rain. La lluvia. Say it again, nuevos amigos. La lluvia. Los temporales. Rainy spell. Los temporales. Say it after me, nuevos amigos. Los temporales. Our next word is los aguaceros. Heavy rain. Los aguaceros. Repeat it after me. Los aguaceros. That's a big word. El veranillo. Sudden dry period. El veranillo. Say it again. El veranillo. La caminata. Hike. La caminata. Say it one more time, nuevos amigos. La caminata. Costa Rica is practically synonymous with ecotourism, el ecoturismo, travel that incorporates education about the environment and promotes preservation of natural resources. The country has many national parks and nature preserves that boast a rich array of birds, mammals, reptiles, and rainforest plants. The variety of birds in particular is astounding. Some 850 species are found in a relatively small area. Most of these national parks are rainforests, bosques tropicales. Therefore, there is a lot of precipitation here, a lot of rain, mucha lluvia. In some places, it rains constantly every day during the rainy season. These rains are los temporales. In other places, you may have sporadic heavy rain, los aguaceros. But then after all the rain, you may also have a sudden dry period called el veranillo, and you won't see one drop of rain during this time. Approximately 25% of the country's land has been set aside in protected areas, earning Costa Rica a reputation as an environmentally sensitive country and leader in ecological conservation. However, non-protected areas have not fared so well. During the past few decades, Costa Rica has had one of the highest rates of deforestation in the world and is coming to terms with the large resorts being built to serve the growing number of travelers. The country has good conditions for a number of adventure sports, among them surfing, river rafting, scuba diving, and hiking, caminata. Those who prefer a less strenuous vacation can view volcanoes, Los Balcanes, 
take boat trips down jungle rivers, or observe the tortugueros, the turtle nesting grounds where giant sea turtles emerge from the ocean to lay their eggs. Maybe you will travel and be an ecotourist someday soon. What a different and active way to spend your vacation time! I think looking into a volcano, el volcán, would be very exciting. Ahora es tiempo para la composición estudiantil. It's time for your composition. Imagine that you have just returned from an ecotourism trip to Costa Rica, where you went for a long hike, la caminata, in the rainforest, el bosque tropical. Describe the different places you went and what you did there. What birds and animals did you see? Were there any rare plants or butterflies? What was the weather like? Did it rain? Try to use as many vocabulary words as possible as you describe your tour. It's time for our review. Let's go over the new things we've learned today, Nuevos Amigos. The verb of the day was viajar, to travel. And in our first dialogue, our students used the sentences, ¿A dónde quieres viajar? Where do you want to travel? And, yo quiero viajar a Costa Rica. I want to travel to Costa Rica. Our new vocabulary words included the terms, la costa, coast, el café, coffee, el Volcán, volcano. La confederación, confederation. El trigo, wheat. El buey, ox. La carreta, cart. We also learn the words el ecoturismo, ecotourism. La lluvia, rain. Los temporales, rainy spell. Los aguaceros, heavy rain. El veranillo, sudden dry period. La caminata, hike. Today's dicho was, camarón que se duerme se lo lleva la corriente. Meaning, a shrimp that falls asleep will drown with the current. In other words, you snooze, you lose. In our second dialogue, we conjugated the verb viajar. We used the sentences, ¿A dónde viaja tu hermano? Where is your brother traveling to? Él viaja a Sarchi. He will travel to Sarchi. Be sure to write today's vocabulary words and your composition about your ecotourism trip to Costa Rica in your Diarios de Español. You've paid attention and worked hard today, Nuevos Amigos. You've done a fabulous job. Han hecho un trabajo fabuloso. If you have any interesting information or fun ideas about Latin American culture and history, then I'd like to hear from you. Write me a message and have your teacher email it to me. Mándame un correo electrónico. The email address is nuevosamigos at dallasisd.org. Remember, when you learn to speak another language, you also make new friends. Acuérdense, cuando aprendemos más de un idioma, podemos hacer Nuevos amigos. Adiós.